guys, this is Haley from OnownRabbits.com, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clicker train your rabbit. Before you start clicker training, you're going to want to make sure you have all of the tools that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to want is a clicker. I personally prefer these clickers. I think they're called iClick. You can buy them online or probably in some pet stores. There's also different types of clickers. I prefer this one because it has a big button and it's super easy for me to hold and click. You can also use a pen that has a click at the end of it. This is gonna be a lot softer of a noise and not as loud. That is personally why I don't prefer it. It's also harder to hold a pen in your hand while you're trying to train your bunnies. You can also use your mouth and make this type of sound. People find this helpful if they feel like holding a clicker is too confusing for them. I personally don't prefer to use my mouth, but that's just my personal preference. I really like using the clicker. The next thing you're gonna need is a target stick. A target stick is basically something that has a big object at the end that the rabbit can touch its nose to. So personally, I have this wooden dowel that I bought and I just cut the wooden dowel in half. I hot glued a clicker at one end and then I hot glued a ping pong ball at the other end. The ping pong ball is what the rabbit will be touching and I find it the perfect target stick for me. You can totally make different variations of this and use different objects. I would just make sure that if you're using something that your rabbit might chew on or bite, that you make sure that it is safe for them to chew on. For example, my wooden dowel is a rabbit safe wood in case they were to chew on it. And then the ping pong ball is just plastic so they're not able to really sink their teeth into it. And last but not least, you're gonna need some treats. My personal preference is actually carrots. I either use fresh shredded carrots or I use dried carrots. Another option is to add some limited dried fruit to that as well, just to have some variation and keep your rabbit interested. This way they'll just be surprised as to what treat they will receive. Just make sure you're not going over the daily recommended amount of fruit or carrots that your rabbit should be eating per day. After I have my treats, I like to break them up into very tiny pieces. You wanna make sure that the rabbit's treats are very easy and quick for them to eat. This just helps the session go faster if your rabbit isn't stopping and chewing for 30 seconds in between each trick. So I find dried carrots ripped into very tiny pieces or dried fruit into very tiny pieces works very well for me. After you've gathered all the tools that you will need to clicker train, it is now time to introduce the target to your bunny. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is introduce the target stick to your bunny. I just hold it out in front of me and wait for my rabbit to touch their nose to the end of the target. For example, this would be the ping pong ball on my target stick. A good way for your rabbit to understand to touch their nose to the end of the target is to either rub raisin juice on the end or rub a banana on the end, just so that it smells good so your rabbit automatically puts its nose to it. As soon as your rabbit touches its nose to the target, click your clicker and give them a treat. When you click the clicker, that is just telling the rabbit that they have done the desired behavior that you wanted them to do, and now they will receive a treat. It might take them a while to understand exactly what the clicker is and that the clicker means they will receive a treat, but after a session or two, your rabbit will totally understand it as rabbits are very food driven and they tend to catch on to things very quickly. After your rabbit understands to touch its nose to the target, you can start moving it a very small distance from them. I would start with maybe a foot or two and just have your rabbit hop over, touch its nose, and then click and reward. Just start with very short distances at first and slowly increase the distance until you're able to go like five or six feet and have your rabbit hop over to the target. After you have done this and you feel your rabbit really understands it, you can start teaching your rabbit to follow the target. This is the most important step because once your rabbit learns to follow the target, you can basically teach your rabbit to do anything. So the goal here is to have your rabbit follow the target as you're leading the target stick around. Start with small distances at first, click and reward, and then work up to longer distances. So that would mean your rabbit is following the target stick for a couple feet, and then you will click and reward. This can be a little bit tricky because if you don't click soon enough, some rabbits will lose interest and just hop away. If that happens, that just means you went a little bit too far for your rabbit and your rabbit isn't ready to go that distance. But soon your rabbit will be following you around with the target stick and they will really grasp the idea. Now that you have all of these foundation skills, you can basically teach your rabbit anything you want. So for example, you can teach them to spin. They 
will just follow the target in a circular pattern and you will click and treat as soon as they've completed the spin. You can teach them to go up by holding the target stick above their head. You can teach them to jump over little jumps. You can even teach them to go through tunnels. There are so many things that you can teach your rabbit once your rabbit knows to follow the target stick. After your rabbit is really familiar with these things, you can go ahead and phase out the target stick for your finger. This can be a tricky step because some rabbits don't understand to follow your finger, simply because they see your fingers all the time when you are changing their water dishes, giving them veggies and stuff. So that's why it's easier for a rabbit to start with a large target stick. So you kind of have to go back to the beginning, start by just holding your finger out, click and treat when they touch your finger, then start moving your finger a little bit further away, click and treat, then have them follow your finger, and then start doing the same tricks that you've taught with the target stick, only with your finger. Sometimes I find it easier to do the trick a couple of times with the target stick and then take the target stick away and do the same thing with my finger. I find that's a lot easier for a rabbit to understand. Once your rabbit is used to your finger and following it around and doing some tricks with it, you can go ahead and add a cue. A cue is basically a hand movement or a word that when you do it, your rabbit knows to perform a certain trick. I prefer not to use verbal commands simply because I used to have a deaf bunny and he could not understand words, so it was much easier to use finger motions. I also personally feel it's easier to use finger motions than verbal commands anyways. So for example, when you're teaching your rabbit to spin, I like to have them follow my finger in a circular motion a couple of times, click and treat, and then I will try adding a cue. That would be just my finger kind of pointing or like flicking in a circular motion, and when the rabbit sees that, the rabbit would spin and I would click and treat. This can be a really hard thing for your rabbit to grasp at first, but if they really have a solid foundation of following your finger in a circular motion, sometimes it's super easy because you can just do a quick circular motion with your finger and they'll understand to spin. A cue can be any hand motion or any word that you want. It's just whatever works best for you and your bunny. In this specific clicker training video, this was one of Sterling's first time ever using my finger as a target stick. He is fairly new at clicker training, so he has only really done a couple of sessions with the target stick itself. So I was really proud of him on how good he was at picking up on using my finger as a target. He definitely wasn't quite ready to add a cue in. I did try it and see if he would spin for me, but he definitely wasn't ready for that since this was his first time ever using my finger. Rabbits do catch on very quickly, but it can take several sessions for them to understand a couple things. Another thing I wanna mention is to keep your clicker training sessions very short, especially in the beginning. In the beginning, I would keep it just a couple minutes long, but as your rabbit gets used to it, I would let them decide how long they wish to clicker train. For example, in this video, Ebony only wanted to clicker train for like five to seven minutes, and then she left and went and ate hay in her litter box, which is totally fine with me. But Sterling preferred to stay and work for about 10 minutes, and then he kind of lost interest and walked away, and that's when I ended the session. Clicker training is a form of positive reinforcement training, so you don't want this to be a negative experience at all. You wouldn't want to enclose them into a very small area and force them to do what you wanted them to do, as that would be a negative reinforcement training option, which I would never recommend. So just allow your rabbit to freely come and go as they choose, and normally a rabbit's attention span is very short, so your sessions will most likely be 5 to 10 minutes long. So if you're curious on why I personally clicker train and why I recommend clicker training, the first reason is because it's super fun for yourself as well as your rabbits. My rabbits come running from across the room as soon as I pick up the clicker. Another amazing benefit is that it is very good exercise for your bunny especially if you're doing things that are more running around or jumping over jumps. It is also really good for a rabbit's mental stimulation. And lastly, it is a very good bonding technique. Clicker training can help with fear behaviors such as your rabbit running away from you or other things like that. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this clicker training video. If you want a step-by-step -step video on how to teach certain tricks such as spin or jump or anything like that, 
leave it down in the comments below and I will try to film that for you guys. Also let me know if you want to see more behavioral clicker training such as helping your rabbit learn not to run away from you when you walk up to them. But that's basically it for today's video. If you guys decide to try clicker training, don't forget to post a photo or a video on Instagram and tag me at official 101 rabbits. I would love to see your rabbits doing little tricks or even if you want to show me your target stick that you created. Click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more clicker training videos in the future. And leave a comment down below on what tricks you think I should teach my rabbits next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon on a new video. Bye!